Hey, Kenny, where are the eggs? Oh, there they are. I have the right of way. Right. Sorry. Here. You said a lot of court. <laughs> oh, weirdo. Hey, let's clean up on aisle four. <laughs> Oh, we are back at 7.39 with a classic scene from Mr. Mom. It still holds up today. It still holds this up. Good. This is good. It's classic. The, the struggles of life at the supermarket. Well, now there's a new issue facing shoppers, a closely watched court case that involves two of the biggest chains in the country, Kroger and Albertsons. They want to merge, but the government is saying not so fast. So that's right, and the outcome could upend the industry, impacting where you shop and how much you pay for groceries. We want to bring in NBC senior business correspondent Christine Romans with all of that. So what's this all about, Christine? Why does the government want to get involved here? Obviously, these chains are not just individual. They own some right. other chains as well. This has the potential to be a big deal. The government is very skeptical that this would be good for consumers. When you look at how much consolidation there's already been in the grocery space, I mean, you look at Albertsons and Kroger's. They own probably the grocery store that you shop at in mm. your neighborhood. All of these brands under this is Kroger. Look at, look at all those names. Wow. Look at Albertsons. There have been merger huh. after merger after merger. Uh, these two are very, wow. very big players. Um, and together, this would be the biggest grocery merger in history. History, and the government is saying, we don't think this fits in with the Biden administration strategy of keeping prices low for consumers. I was just about so to So they're ask in that. court over this. So for, I was just about to say, for the average American shopper, ultimately, do you think prices will go higher or lower? So prices are up 21% since um, just after the pandemic started. So this is really issue number one for the government and the Federal Trade Commission here. These companies are saying they would lower prices. They'd have better scale. They'd be better together. They actually would be better as competitors together. The government is saying, no, 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 no. When you start taking players off the field and you have one big, huge company, that's not good for competition. In reality, are some stores likely to close if this goes through? So they're going to have to divest some stores. So maybe 500, somebody would, else would buy those, right, where they overlap and where there's too much concentration. Um, there had been a merger in 2015 where one of these big chains had said they were going to sell off some stores. And then those stores went bankrupt and then they bought them back and closed them anyway. So the government in its in the courtroom is very skeptical that, <clears throat> excuse me, these two companies will do what they, they will do and protect jobs and keep uh, keep prices steady. What I didn't realize until before this conversation is that Walmart is the biggest food seller in this country, like mm. a third of the trillion dollar market right now. So yeah. these these companies recognize that, that they're facing real pressure from a lot of these big box stores. And right that's now. what they're saying in court. Look, the biggest grocery store in the United States is Walmart. It is not your neighborhood grocery Jeez. store. Yeah. It is a superstore. So they're saying they've got to get together and have this big scale so they can, you know, pressure producers to lower prices the way that Walmart does, the way Walmart uses its leverage to get uh, low prices. So that is what's playing out in a courtroom. And it will, whatever happens in that courtroom, you will likely feel in your neighborhood grocery store because this touches every corner of the grocery business. And what about the workers who would be impacted really all over the country? It's about 710,000 workers for these two big grocery chains. That's a lot of people. And they have got a good size unionized uh, workforce here. Again, the companies are saying, hey, we are going to honor these contracts. This is going to be good for the workers. The government is saying, wait a minute. No, when you have fewer players, mm. that means you don't have the competition to be able to allow, you know, maybe the threat of, of work stoppages or strikes, mm -hmm. right? So that it allows you to, to negotiate for a better a better package. So again, two completely different worldviews in yeah. this courtroom yeah. and it's all over your grocery bill. Yeah. Yeah. We wait and watch. Christine, yeah. thank Just, you. Thanks, Christine. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.